Hello, and welcome to TNV's very first version of Escape Room. If you've ever played these games online or have gone to one of these uh, escape room uh, places that are all the rage now, you'll know how completely unrealistic they are. You'll go and there'll be like a screwdriver and a gear wheel and a battery and cables and you have to connect them all together and um, start a car driving through a wall. There's going to be none of that tonight. There are rules to this. I will be escaping from my very own bathroom. Now, you're probably thinking, that's the easiest thing in the world. You live in that house, you know where the door is, just walk out. The door is off limits, although it will remain open for the duration of the escape room game, which will last 12 hours, uh, so that you can see uh, different angles and stuff. It's just strictly for camera uh, shooting purposes. If I talk to the camera, if I, if I take a break and I talk to the audience, I will be in the bathroom. Uh, other rules, nothing on my body can be used. So if you're worried about me like slipping a, a Swiss Army knife or something like that, I can't do that. Also, if I find something in the bathroom that normally wouldn't be in the bathroom, like a hammer, a screwdriver, or a blowtorch, that's off limits too. Only bathroom items. Chemicals. You're probably thinking, well, I could probably I could whip up some sort of bomb out of, you know, like uh, beard oil and soap and, um, you know, like uh, incense candles or something like that. That's off limits. I'm not going to be able to use chemicals to, to blow things up or anything like that. However, if I can figure out a way to um, use soap, say, to grease a path or an air duct or something like that, that is within bounds. Uh, finally, um, the clock. You'll be given periodic uh, checks of the time so that you know where we are with escape room. I'm going to give you a quick uh, survey of what I'm looking at here in the bathroom. And then I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, I have no plan. I'm going to start uh, inventorying things in my head and see what I can put together. I think I'll be out of here in 10 minutes at most. Okay, so you can see I'm coming up with a lot of good options here. It's just a matter of picking the best way to uh, to get myself out of here. All right, so uh, bear with me. A tool like this can be used for a number of reasons, a uh, number of ways. I can use it as a plumb line. I can use it to test distances. Um, I can um, maybe make a, a kind of like a um, a rotary saw out of it. I'm a little bit behind my timeline, but uh, I have a pretty good idea of what is in the bathroom and what I can uh, what I can start to use to to play my escape. I can see that. Even with the various lubricants I have in here, I'm probably not going to be able to pass through this window. I, it's kind of uh, a little overcast today and the sun's not really on the side, so we may have to table this till I have a better angle. I'm uh, kind of not doing so well so far with the, the plans I have, 
but I'm not really giving up hope. I may be looking to the ground to try to get through to the second floor. Um, I do own both floors, so um, it's not the worst idea in the world to just try and crack a hole through the floor and get out that way. It's getting pretty uh, warm in here, so tactical turtlenecks coming off. I won't use any part of the turtleneck to try to be able to escape. I just need to breathe a little bit. Listen, my time's up. I did not make it out of the bathroom in the 12 hours allotted. When you go to those, uh, those amusement games and you play on video, they map out a, a trail of breadcrumbs for you. Um, they make it easy to win. They want you to win because they want you to come back. They want your money. Uh, we tried to play it a little more honest here. And uh, when you do that, not everything works out. I'd be happy to give this another go, um, maybe in somebody else's bathroom.